Inwardly, everything should be different, but our outward face should conform with the crowd. Anyone who can make you angry becomes your master. The first rule is to keep an untroubled spirit. The second is to look things in the face and know them for what they are. When you arise in the morning, think of what a privilege it is to be alive, to think, to enjoy, to love. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. He suffers more than necessary, who suffers before it is necessary. Be like the cliff against which the waves continually break, but it stands firm and tames the fury of the water around it. Nature hath given men one tongue but two ears, that we may hear from others twice as much as we speak. People are frugal in guarding their personal property, but as soon as it comes to squandering time, they are most wasteful of one thing in which it is right to be stingy. Begin at once to live and count each separate day as a separate life. If you really want to escape the things that harass you, what you're needing is not to be in a different place, but to be a different person. Until we have begun to go without them, we fail to realize how unnecessary many things are. We've been using them not because we needed them, but because we had them. If a man knows not which port he sails, no wind is favorable. We all love ourselves more than other people, but care more about their opinion than our own. Here is a rule to remember in future. When anything tempts you to feel bitter, not this is misfortune, but to bear this worthily is good fortune. Man conquers the world by conquering himself. Waste no more time arguing what a good man should be. Be one. The things you think about determine the quality of your mind. If it is not right, do not do it. If it is not true, do not say it. It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. Everything we hear is an opinion, not a fact. Everything we see is a perspective, not the truth. Luck is what happens when preparation meets opportunity. It is not the man who has too little, but the man who craves more that is poor. Knowing yourself is the beginning of all wisdom. Difficulty shows what men are. To be everywhere is to be nowhere. Death smiles at us all. All we can do is smile back. The more we value things outside our control, the less control we have. Nothing endures but change. A person's worth is measured by the worth of what he values. If you want to improve, be content to be thought foolish and stupid. Anger if not restrained, is frequently more hurtful to us than the injury that provokes it. No man was ever wise by chance. He who is brave is free. Reject your sense of injury, and the injury itself disappears. 
willing are led by fate, the reluctant dragged. What we do now echoes in eternity. While we wait for life, life passes. The one who puts the finishing touches on their life each day is never short of time. It's time you realize that you have something in you more powerful and miraculous than the things that affect you and make you dance like a puppet. Wealth consists not in having great possessions, but in having few wants. Be silent for the most part, or if you speak, say only what is necessary in a few words. All cruelty springs from weakness. It is a rough road that leads to the heights of greatness. Do every act of your life as though it were the very last act of your life. Whatever can happen at any time can happen today. Don't explain your philosophy. Embody it. Because a thing seems difficult for you, do not think it impossible for anyone to accomplish. Freedom is secured not by the fulfilling of men's desires, but by the removal of desire. Circumstances don't make the man, they only reveal him to himself. It is not death that a man should fear. But he should fear never beginning to live. The key is to keep company only with people who uplift you, whose presence calls forth your best. Humans have come into being for the sake of each other, so either teach them or learn to bear them. It can ruin your life only if it ruins your character. Otherwise, it cannot harm you, inside or out. The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. Mastery of reading and writing requires a master, still more so life. Life is very short and anxious for those who forget the past, neglect the present, and fear the future. Be tolerant with others and strict with yourself. Your days are numbered. Use them to throw open the windows of your soul to the sun. If you do not, the sun will soon set and you with it. The best revenge is to be unlike him who performed the injury. Sometimes even to live is an act of courage. It's not that we have little time, but more that we waste a good deal of it. Whatever happens at all happens as it should. You will find this true if you watch narrowly. Our life is what our thoughts make it. How much more grievous are the consequences of anger than the causes of it? He who fears death will never do anything worthy of a man who is alive. We live only now. Everything else is either past or is unknown. Progress is not achieved by luck or accident, but by working on yourself daily. In banquets, remember that you entertain two guests, body and soul. And whatever you shall have given to the body, you soon eject. But what you shall have given to the soul, you keep always. No person has the power to have everything they want. But it is in their power not to want what they don't have, and to cheerfully put to good use what they do have. If what you have seems insufficient to you, then though you possess the world, 
you will yet be miserable. He is the most powerful who has power over himself. Difficulties strengthen the mind as labor does the body. As is a tale, so is life. Not how long it is, but how good it is, is what matters. Life, if well lived, is long enough. The best answer to anger is silence. Agreed. But nature set a limit on that, as it did on eating and drinking. Nowhere can man find a quieter or more untroubled retreat than in his own soul. He who has injured thee was either stronger or weaker than thee. If weaker, spare him. If stronger, spare thyself. The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. To wish to be well is a part of becoming well. Receive without conceit. Release without struggle. No great thing is created suddenly, any more than a bunch of grapes or a fig. If you tell me that you desire a fig, I answer that there must be time. Let it first blossom, then bear fruit, then ripen. We suffer more often in imagination than in reality. No man can escape his destiny, the next inquiry being how he may best live the time that he has to live. The whole future lies in uncertainty. Live immediately. Every new beginning comes from some other beginning's end. But life is very short and anxious for those who forget the past, neglect the present, and fear the future. We suffer not from the events in our lives, but from our judgment about them. It is our attitude toward events, not events themselves, which we can control. Nothing is by its own nature calamitous. Even death is terrible only if we fear it. If evil be said of thee, and if it be true, correct thyself. If it is a lie, laugh at it. Attach yourself to what is spiritually superior, regardless of what other people think or do. Hold to your true aspirations, no matter what is going on around you. Confine yourself to the present. No man is free who is not a master of himself. Very little is needed to make a happy life. It is all within yourself in your way of thinking. If you live in harmony with nature, you will never be poor. If you live according to what others think, you will never be rich. Learn to be indifferent to what makes no difference. The greatest blessings of mankind are within us and within our reach. A wise man is content with his lot, whatever it may be, without wishing for what he has not. Man is not worried by real problems so much as by his imagined anxieties about real problems. Small-minded people blame others. Average people blame themselves. The wise see all blame as foolishness. Respect the past. Be open to the future. The life we receive is not short, but we make it so. We are not ill provided, but use what we have wastefully. Stay calm and serene, regardless of what life throws at you.